This is Red Ray coming to you live from Vulcan Gas Company here in Austin, Texas for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Get up for Tony. It's clear. Austin, Texas. Come on, we're doing this shit tonight. Make some fucking noise. Welcome to the number one live podcast in the world. How about a hand for my buddy Brian Ray? Hey, what's everybody. Up everybody. We're doing this shit tonight. You can feel it in this place. How about a hand for the fucking band, huh? The Kill Tony band. These are my friends. John D's on the keyboard. Michael Gonzalez on the drums. And the great D Madness there on bass guitar, everybody. Holding it down. Life is good. We're doing the goddamn thing tonight. We're going to have so much fun. I'm pumped. We got joke books made by the great Bonesai to give away. Big ones, small ones of all different sizes. It's going to be a lot of fun. Before we start tonight's episode, here's a little bit about the amazing sponsors that made tonight's episode available for free for you right now. Hey, y'all. According to Forbes, gyms, nail salons, hotels, mom and pop stores, and more are set to go on an epic hiring spree in the coming months to meet the pent-up demand for all their services. I mean, everything's opening up out here. I just went and saw a movie at a theater. I saw a concert at a real venue. Of course, we've been doing comedy shows, going to the gym. All of these businesses reopening means that millions of jobs will need to be filled. So where do these businesses turn to fill these roles fast? ZipRecruiter. And right now, you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. You know about this, Red Band? Of course I do. When you post a job on ZipRecruiter, they send your job to over 100 top job sites, giving you access to their network of millions of job seekers. ZipRecruiter's matching technology scans resumes to find qualified candidates fast for your open roles and proactively presents them to you. You can easily review recommended candidates and invite your top choices to apply for your job which encourages them to apply faster. According to ZipRecruiter's internal data, jobs where employers invite candidates to apply get two and a half times more candidates. ZipRecruiter's technology is so effective that four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Within the first day? And right now, you can try ZipRecruiter for free at this exclusive web address. ZipRecruiter.com slash Kill Tony. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash K-I-L-L-T-O-N-Y. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash Kill Tony. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Oh, no, you clogged your toilet again. You got to get that fixed. Because when things break around the house, you take care of it. However, when something's off in the bedroom, you just try to not think about it. Come on, man. What are you waiting for? Take care of it. Go to GetRoman.com slash Tony now. With Roman, you can get a free online evaluation and ongoing care for ED, all from the comfort and privacy of your home. Red Band, we all know that you know all about this. Of course, I'm getting old and my peeper is getting older. With Roman, you can get a free online evaluation and ongoing care for ED, all from the comfort and privacy of your home. A U.S. licensed healthcare professional will work with you to find the best treatment plan. If medication is appropriate, it ships to you with free two-day shipping. The whole process is straightforward and discreet. Ooh la la. Getting started is simple. Just go to GetRoman.com slash Tony and complete an online visit. Take care of your ED without leaving your home. Complete an online visit today to connect with a healthcare professional and take care of it. Yeah. Get hard, dude. Go get that fuck. Yeah, you know what to do. Go to GetRoman.com slash Tony now and you'll get $15 off your first month. It's really time to take care of your ED. And remember, get started today and you'll save $15 on your first order of ED treatment. Save some money. Get a boner. Watch Kill Tony. Isn't that a life? Hey, y'all. I absolutely fucking love my Ridge Wallet. You, If you guys don't have one, you should definitely get one. This show is brought to you by Ridge Wallet. And if you don't know, Ridge Wallet is a light, sleek, and industrial metallic wallet. It's strong. It's sturdy. It's built like a goddamn brick. 
and it's sleek and cool, and you can keep all your credit cards and all your cash in it. Red Band, you have a Ridge wallet. Oh, yes. I love it, and I'm never going back to a regular clunky wallet. Man, I used to have one of those big wallets that was the size of a Big Mac, and I've tried to eat it a few times. Yay. <laughs> you can't eat that. Don't you eat your wallet, Red Band? I try. I can't, especially the Ridge wallet. It broke all my teeth. Hey. But now I... <laughs> but now I have this really sleek, awesome wallet. I keep it in my front pocket now. I really took out all the garbage that was in my wallet, like old business cards and subway coupons and mm -hmm. crap. And now it's sexy and smooth. I even gave one to my girlfriend, and she loves it. Girls love the Ridge Wallet. Girls love Ridge Wallets. Boys love Ridge Wallets. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash killtony. That's ridge.com slash, yeah, kill Tony. And use the code kill Tony. Get a Ridge wallet. Don't be an idiot. Are you guys ready to start tonight's show or what, huh? Hell yeah. Guys, how about a hand for the Yellow Rose and the Red Rose, the best goddamn sponsors in the world. And of course, Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey, which makes the Kill Tony band possible. These guys are fucking real musicians over here, and they, we have a real sponsor for them. Delicious Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey. How many of you like peanut butter out there? Make some noise if you like whiskey. Then drink whiskey with peanut butter in it. It's, it's a no-brainer. It's delicious. It's pretty easy to figure out. I mean, two good things are great. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, every single week we have the, the most diabolical possible guests available. Austin has become, rumor has it, one of the comedy capitals of the world. Last week, last week, Dom Irera, Burt Kreischer, and Joe Rogan all on the same show sitting here on panel. But you didn't come last week, did you? No, you fucked up. No, I'm kidding. We have two more great comedy guests for you. Ladies and gentlemen, two of my favorite human beings, the creator of Roast Battle, the host of Roast Battle, and uh, one of the great comedians of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Brian Moses and Jamar Neighbors, everybody. <laughs> two of my brothers from the comedy store, comedy store paid regulars. Jamar, of course, famously of the wave of roast battle and so many other great things. Your comedy special is out everywhere. Moses, my friend, been killing it every Tuesday. Roast battle still happens at the comedy store. You can watch it at Mint Comedy. Watch the live stream coming in from those guys over at Mint Comedy. How you guys doing? Good, man. Real good, man. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> Moses, what's shaking? Welcome back to Austin. Feels good. I got a lot of boogers. I don't know what's about this dry ass weather, but a lot of boogers. So those of you at home now know that Brian Moses picks his nose. Yeah, that is true. Uh, 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 allergies are a very real thing here for some reason in Austin. Nobody warned me about that before I uh, signed a one year lease to live here. Um, and that's a real thing. You got to get a vaccine to uh, get rid of it, Tony. <laughs> it's fucked up, man. Because my eyes be watering and I be going like this. But I'm too gangster for this motion. Like, this shit. Luckily, you guys have been guests on the show multiple times. You've been, uh, I mean, we've all are a comedy store brother in together. So you guys know how it works. But for those of you in the audience that might not know, a bunch of people signed up for the opportunity to get 60 seconds on this stage tonight, this bucket, other than this t-shirt is filled with names. There's multiple names and a few Sharpie markers. And uh, anyway, if I pull your name out of the bucket, you get 60 seconds uninterrupted. You know your time is up and you hear the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. They get 60 seconds and then I interview them and we all talk to them together. We meet a bunch of new people that have the balls to sign up for chaos that is Kill Tony. Are you guys ready to start this fucking show? Anything can happen. Are you sure you want to do this, Texas? Well, before I put my hand in this wild bucket, uh, I, instead I'm going to bring up a regular, one of our favorite comedians of all time in the history of the show. He is the newest regular on Kill Tony. That means he writes and performs a brand new minute every week. It's one of the uh, highly most wanted positions in all of uh, comedy. 
Hold on, we have these fucking hipsters coming in late over here. We have the lead singer of System of a Down and fucking... I don't know which one of... I don't know who put one of Donald Trump's sons in the microwave, but this guy's right here. <laughs> Look at this fucking dweebus Maximus. Oh, shit. Look at these guys. This is the autistic crew coming in late. All right. All right, let's do it. One of my favorite regulars in the history of the show. You just made a regular here in Texas. This is a brand new minute from who I believe is one of the true futures of comedy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Hans Kim. What's up, guys? Um, I live in a van so that I can pursue comedy full time. So if you didn't think I was funny, I'm sorry. I'm trying really hard. I know there's some person in the back like, yeah, this guy's funny, but not live in your van funny. <laughs> Could have written that joke in an apartment, buddy. It's, uh, it's hard to date in a van ever since Gabby Petito went and got herself killed. <laughs> it's hard to convince a girl to go out with you when you have all the tools to kill her and get away with it. It's, uh, it's hard to jerk off in the van as well because whenever I lock my doors, my hazards flash. So if you ever see my hazards flash, just know I'm jerking it in there. People act weird about me jerking off in a van, but it's even weirder if you're in a van and you don't jerk off. It's a lot of tension. It's day 497 of me not touching myself, you know. All right, that's my time. Thank you, guys. Hell yeah, Hans Kim. Talking about living in a van. A whole new minute about living in a van. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. I, uh, I got a generator recently. Yeah. And my roof is leaking. Um, you know, How but you I did have sex in it today. Whoa, that's hard to do. That's hard to do. Not easy. Last week I told you uh, that it dries up pussies like uh, putting your phone in a bowl of rice. <laughs> I stand by that. Uh, so how did you was it with your normal girlfriend today yes with right. Paige for those of you that don't know the story Hans has been swimming in pussy since becoming a regular here on Kill Tony <laughs> he's made out with I don't know 20 some strangers and strippers and uh, but now you decided to go steady yeah Paige is a great person for me she uh, knows how to talk to autistic people so. Does she tell you to say her first name like that when you're yeah, that on weird. the show? Like, instead <laughs> of just saying, yeah, she, because, like, I said your girlfriend, but then you said, yeah, Paige, you know, she. Like, why do you say her name like that? She's a big part of my life, and. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you already got laid today, dude. You're tr still trying, huh? <laughs> What's going on with that, though? Every week, it's you, you're either br she breaks up with you or you're back together. What happened here? What's going on? Yeah, I don't think she's fully convinced about me yet. Uh, I need to, I need to have sex with her more and convince her. Yeah. Can we go back to the? Can we go back to the strippers? <laughs> Which strip club? Yellow Rose. Yep. Yes, they Yellow uh, Rose usually sit Rose. up there and come kiss me. Uh, <laughs> I mean, obviously it's Yellow Rose. It's not Red Rose. You know what I mean? That's an Asian joke. It just landed. It's both. They have both. I of was that. trying to do There's a whole two yellow strip clubs. Thing. They're the yellow rose and the. But because he's Asian, I was doing the yellow thing. Oh you know right, I mean? right, so right. Yeah, he's. I that, thought I could. I. Okay, I, first of all, okay, first of all, I'm trying to get. Listen, he just told me backstage, get canceled, you'll get famous. I'm trying to do the same thing. <laughs> Not tonight. I didn't mean tonight, Moses. When but, I told you but, to get yourself canceled, I didn't mean on the show immediately. <laughs> That's why hey. I'm here giving you uh, real older brotherly <laughs> advice. <laughs> this is a um, much this is a much cooler Asian than that, that, that you fucked up. I mean, you are I got to say, you yeah. are extra Asian today since um, he brought it up. You got a new haircut. Is that fucking North Korean leader shit? Like what do you <laughs> what do you ask for? Turn to the side so these people can see. I mean, look at that. That guy just went from a fucking <laughs> he had a 4 on his clippers and he's like, "Fuck it." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm with Moses, man. I don't think it's fair. I saw him use the same jokes to beat Ralphie May on Last Comic Stand in the first season. <laughs> oh, oh, dad. That's man. a dad fan joke. <sighs> We're trying to get canceled. What? what? You fucked that stripper in that van? 
Uh, she's not a stripper. I fucked a stripper in the broom closet upstairs. <laughs> hey, yeah, dude. I'm telling oh. you. Oh. I was like, what that little girl in the back of the van say when you took her room? All right. I'm telling you, and and I, I, you know, I normally wouldn't talk about comedians' private lives, but I will tell you guys that uh, my friends here, Jamar and Moses, they do. You might be wondering, and yes, they do fuck, and uh, they have sex with women. But I'm telling you guys, one of the biggest pimps I know right now is Hans Kim. <laughs> Hans, tell us Hello. more about your. Uh, tell us more about you. Tell them about your recent escapades. I found a new way to cuddle. Yeah. Um, because, you know, I'm a skinny guy. My arm isn't that beefy. And, it's like, my arm goes to sleep whenever she lays on it. So I started doing back-to-back and, like, our butts are touching. Like five-year-olds. Yeah. Wow. What is that? What do you... All right. <laughs> Some weird double dragon shit, You bro. guys sleep in the van together? Yes. Wow. Why We're, don't you go to her house? She has a house, right? No, actually, Paige is homeless. <laughs> is that true? Is that yeah. true? Wow. She's living with her friend right now. Oh, um, okay. What's she look like? She looks like a white woman who's half Asian. But is she she's... here? Yes. Hey, well, Paige, her? why don't you come up to the stage? Make yourself <laughs> useful for a change. Why don't we get Hans Kim's... Gr- she's been on this show before. Hans famously... Uh... She's with some dude in the bathroom right now. Yeah. Uh... She's some... <laughs> She's, she's getting an upgrade. She has a guy with a studio apartment railing her right now. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. What else is exciting? Anything else, Hans? Um, I, uh, I, I did oh, a this is her? battle. Oh, shit. Look oh, at this. shit. Not bad for a homeless girl, right? Wait, 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 wait. Didn't how? Yeah. I'm, that's what I'm telling you guys. It's Nigga, Hans. how are you homeless? And she got a broke finger, too. Hell yeah. She I hurt was, her Hans. I was living... <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. It's so stupid. Don't laugh at that. Stop it. You guys stop it up there. How'd you hurt your hand? She was uh, in Squid Game. I was trying to catch, yeah. a, I was trying to catch a football on a boat. I collided with the football and my friend. Wow. And it just... Oh. Uh, Three of them got fractured. What kind of boat for a chick that doesn't have a home? I mean, you really get out there, huh? You have quite the social life uh, for a do I'm from the north side of San Antonio, so I'm not. What like, about San Antonio? A homelessy, homeless person. What? Uh, north side of San Antonio. She's, she's white homeless. Oh. Uh, homeful, that's called. Very homeful, she is. She's got a whole territory. <laughs> I'm from the north side of San Antonio. Not that bullshit south side. Paige, what ethnicity are you? Your eyes seem sort of kind of maybe Asian. I am not Asian. Zero percent Asian. Oh, okay. Hans! Why did <laughs> you, you laugh? Laugh? What are People you? People think I am. It's are really you anything funny. special or just like Scottish I am 55% Scandinavian, so I'm Viking. Wow. Okay. Hans, what do you think about that? I love fucking the purest white people possible. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god, I love it. Hold up, I want some stripper credit too because I made out with two of them, so... There you go, absolutely. She made out with... I mean, look at that fucking finger brace over there. What a dork. That's like the world's most embarrassing engagement ring. <laughs> show everybody. Don't cover it up. Welcome to show business, lady. There you go. Oh, oh, well, there you go. She doesn't even need it, everybody. Uh, <laughs> stupidest thing ever to wear a finger brace and not need it. <laughs> you guys are unbelievable. I'd love to be a fly on the van wall in this relationship. <laughs> All right, Hans, you did it again. Another killer minute. Uh, Fun times. We used to have you make out with girls, but now you have a girlfriend. I don't know. Seems weird. Yeah, you really fucked up, Hans. Yeah, you really blew it, Hans. Way to settle down. Find yourself a good little fucking homeless girl (laughs) with fake finger braces. Right. Jesus. Hans will fuck anything. It's all about looks. I mean, dog, that's, uh, if the homeless bitches out here look like that, I'm moving here. 
Yeah. Like tomorrow, shit. Yeah. Finding me a nice corner and <laughs> Oh wow, look at this. This guy's absolutely hilarious. He killed a week ago. He's a staff member here at Vulcan Gas Company. Getting lucky, getting on two weeks in a row. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Monford Davis, everybody. All right. I moved here to Austin, Texas to chase my dreams in stand-up comedy. But if I don't stop busting inside these big booty Latinas, I'm going to end up with a couple of dreamers in a warehouse job. <laughs> I like black girls better than white girls. I even think black girls' assholes taste better than white girls' assholes. How do they get the seasoning to come out the other end? <laughs> Black girls' assholes taste like Lowry season salt. And white girls' assholes taste like not enough salt, you know. It's, it's, it's bland. It tastes like my parents' Thanksgiving. Thank you. Monford Davis, everybody. Wow. This is a side of you that we didn't hear last week. It's about your, uh, your preferences in the bedroom. Big booty Latinas and black asses is what I gathered from that 60 seconds. Is this true? Are you into big booty Latinas? Yeah, it's a thing that doesn't really exist in Virginia. It's a Texas thing. Oh, so this is all new and exotic to you. Yeah. You're used to a bunch of plain white women like Paige that was just up yeah, here. Yeah, I don't... I don't like that at all. Right. You're the reverse. Yeah. You're the Nordic. You're the Nordic one. <laughs> how many... I mean, is this a... Uh, yeah, like, how, how often does this happen? Where do you find a big booty Latina at? I think everybody wants to know. At uh, 7-Eleven on Altorf. Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Absolutely. Perfect answer. Yeah. That's correct. <laughs> uh, you move to the next level of Kill Tony. Uh, well, the hot local ref. What about that, that black chick with the seasoning on her? Where you meet her at? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> how, how, are you uh, <laughs> how, how are you getting black girls? I think you're going like, to capture them. Yeah, where are you finding these black asses? Um, you know, I'm just I'm, uh, very sensitive and nice. And I treat them like the queens that they are. Thank you, so much. You, must, you must be the drug dealer in town. Can I, fa <laughs> can I FaceTime my auntie and you tell her that? So Let's do it. We're going to face Jamar's, FaceTime Jamar's auntie, everybody. Uh, are we really? Let's do to? it. Absolutely. Don't okay, you think we up. should? Can we get it? Yoni, come here. Come up here, Yoni. Get the reverse angle of this. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. This you want a big black one or an actual cute auntie? A cute auntie. I want like, right. who's like the Fattest most? Fattest ass. Who's got, yeah. Oh, auntie? this one. This one right I, here. We want your blackest auntie. She we don't want, like, your adoptive auntie or whatever, the whichever well, one put you through foster, private school Foster or auntie, foster auntie. Oh, well, she got diabetes, and she only got half a leg. Let's do this Bad shit. Badass, though. Badass. Nah, I ain't going to call her. She probably sleep. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's, all right, let's get Shannon. Her ass so fat that you... <laughs> put the microphone at the bottom of, and turn yep. up the volume. Put the microphone at the bottom. Hey, auntie. Oh, she at the game. <laughs> She's at the game. Hey, auntie. Oh, wow. She's literally at Monday Night Football oh, we, right now. We have the, uh, uh, somebody wants to big up black women, and I said, hey, can you big up my auntie, please? Hey, Bro, spit right game. Like um, Tell her how you feel. Ms. Jamar's auntie, Ms. Jamar's auntie, I just wanted to say that I think I would love to eat your asshole. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh my god. No! Oh shit. 
<laughs> Damn, dude. Nigga, not before me. <laughs> Monford, no sweet talk at all. Straight to business over here. I mean, god damn, Monford. Straight to that fucking auntie ass. God damn. I'm pretty sure you can't get sick for a while if you. That's how you get the auntie bodies. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Oh, shit. Nigga, I'm in trouble. <laughs> wow. How, how many black girls' asses have you eaten, Monford? Two. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. That's okay. Try, I'm trying to make it three. I love it. And you work here. You work here at Vulcan Gasco. How long have you been doing stand up? <laughs> Two and a half years. Okay. Yeah. All of it here in Texas? Or wait, no, you said Virginia. Yeah. Right. And how long have you been here? Like six months. All right. Yeah. Jamar's grounded. <laughs> 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 I didn't mean to get you in trouble. I'm sorry. No, it's good. It's good. You could tell this was a successful aunt, too. She's literally at the NFL game right now. She was in the stands wearing a Chargers hat. You guys will... No, internet. you can tell how much... Yeah, she's successful. because She's like, he's like, can I eat your ass? She's like, how much does he make? Yeah, yeah we're like, uh, he's a door guy at Vulcan. Uh, sorry to bother you, Auntie Shannon. <laughs> I saw the contact on the phone when he hit. Uh, <laughs> it's Auntie Shannon, everybody. Okay, so Monford, what's something fun that we didn't find out about you last week that you probably thought about? Like, oh, that would have been a good thing to bring up in the interview. Anything interesting about you that we don't know yet? I like dancing. No fucking yeah. way. There's no way. It do you don't look like the kind of guy that likes dancing. Right. This is a big surprise. Will you show us a little something? Can we do some, ED some EDM music? EDM music, yeah. really? Yeah. Yeah, look up uh, EDM music on your uh, little uh, device there. Oh, this is going to be... I think we're in for a surprise here. I think that... Uh, I did not see this coming. All right, all right, all right, all right. There's not some big twist coming where you, like, spin on your back up in the air or something? That's what you think dancing is? Listen, with dancing like that, that's why it's only two black girls. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and not 35 like Bill Cosby, shit. Sure. Yeah. I'm it's trying to get canceled! <laughs> I love it. Monford, you're hilarious. You did it again. Red Band? Uh, I would like to have you back on the show Thursday at the Secret Show. Thank you so Hello. much. Thank you. Just, hey! got booked. Just got booked on a real show. You got a joke book last week, right, Monford? Yep. How about one more time for Monford Davis, everybody? A lot of the staff members here are also comedians. They sign up every week. Monford got on two weeks in a row. That's hard to do. The odds of that are... Your next comedian is Jesse Burr. This is a new name, Jesse Burr. B-E-R. Here we go. You guys having fun out there? Do you understand the show? You guys happy? You guys excited to be out on a fucking Monday? All right, here it is one more time for Jesse Burr, everyone. Hey, everybody. These bullshit politicians these days got me questioning things. Got me thinking I'm missing the good old days back when Dick Cheney was around. You know, straight shooting Dick Cheney. You don't want to bring any bullshit to Dick Cheney's office, that's for sure. You end up in the forest, crouched down with him, hunting for something, I'm not sure what, but hey, look over there. Did you see that? Uh, sh sh boom. Oops, I missed. Sorry about that. Let me clean you up before the Secret Service gets here. <laughs> you think anybody's going into Dick Cheney's office with a bad deal anymore? I think our politicians now need to take a good, hard look at themselves. Get some blast from the past, right? 
Meow. That's a minute. All right. I don't know. I don't know where this came from. I, I, I do believe this is the ghost that hides under Jamar in Moses' bed at night. Uh, did you guys just conjure this up with your imaginations? This is, some, this is the start of a blatant porno. I've seen this before. I want to bring the good old days back. Slavery. Come on, Jamar Moses. Oh, my goodness it, gracious. Are, is that real? Is that your real hair? No. It's really no. mine. It's from China. It's from China. Oh, okay. But it's really mine. I bought it. All right. I just flew in from L.A. especially okay. for you. So. All right. White girl weave. Okie yeah. dokie. Uh, it's white girl day, yes. Can, can, white girl can, day. can I call my sister and you apologize for slavery? Well. You know, actually, you know who my grandfather was? You guys will like this. <laughs> he was a what? A rapist? No, 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 no. He's... My grandfather really was Quick Draw McGraw. Leland Eagle Eye, Quick Draw McGraw. You think we know who that is? You're in Texas. You need to know who that is. You're in Texas now, What fucking creek do you live next to where whatever the hell name you just said is a big deal? Where where do you live? What what is your... I have so many questions for you. I'm from Santa Barbara. I have all the questions for you. This is so exciting. Thank you, Tony. We're about I'm to be excited best to be friends. here. I'm super excited to be here. I'm from Santa Barbara, California. Okay. I just flew in today. Okay. How long have you been doing comedy or trying whatever this the fuck that was? This is actually my very first time. I swear to God. No, I know you've heard that before. You. We believe you. I know you've heard that before from a lot of women, but I swear to God, I swear to God almighty, this is my first time I'm doing comedy. Did, okay. Wait, yeah. did you say your uncle is a fictional cartoon character? No, my grandpappy. <laughs> Your grandpappy? My grandpappy. <laughs> okay, he's. A it's not fictional. He's a real. He's a real guy. He's a real cart. He's yeah. a horse. He really had my mommy, and then my mommy had me. No, no, it was just based on. It was really based on him. He was a, a World War II hero. He was a captain of a battleship at the age of 21. Now he was very humble. He will say that it's because he had premature balding that they made him the captain because people had to respect him because he looked older. There weren't a lot of older men around in 1946 wow. or 5, I guess. Whose podcast is this? Yeah. Oh, I love this shit. I live for fucking characters like this. Will you tell us how old you are? Is that a weird question for you? Oh, my God. I'm over 29, so you don't ask women that. There you go. I had a feeling I'd get a yeah, real dog shit Especially when I'm with fake hair, because I'm trying real freaking hard here. Okay? Jesse, shut the fuck up for a second. Uh... When did you buy that hat? When did you buy this silly hat? I feel like you got that here in Austin. You got it here today. No, no, I've had the hat for a while. You brought that from Santa Barbara? I did. Wow. I did, in fact. And it's not real. It's vegan. That's a good question, John. Is it attached to the hair? Does it all come off no. at once? And then I'm sure there's a no, peel but the away hair mask over all like this. shit now, so I'm going to leave it on. So. Jesse, you just ramble whatever Wait. half answers that you have, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> it, I love it. Is yeah. it your, your name's Jesse? Uh, Jessica. Jesse. Okay. So you just like cartoon characters. You're dressed up like the Toy Story chick, right? Is that what that's supposed I to be? I want it to be memorable, so. Oh, well, there you go. Everybody, <laughs> we're always looking for the next wacky Toy Story character. What have you done with your life up until this point? You're just starting um, stand up tonight. What have you been yes. doing? Uh, I have been suing corrupt officials in Los Angeles <laughs> Federal District Court. Okay. And that is the goddamn truth. <laughs> what have you been suing people for? Um, I have been suing people over um, instigating arson in order to um, defraud the people of California because fake law firms have been set up. <laughs> Keep going. You guys don't want to hear the misery that is in California right now, right? You're here for comedy. Who exa- California is burning, and why? Because firemen are paid overtime now. Jesse, over here, over here, you crazy fucking bitch. <laughs> and fake over here, Jesse, firms, Jesse, fake Jesse, 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 are Jesse, Jesse, everybody. Jesse, they're raping Cut everybody in California. They're Jesse, raping whoa, 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 Jesse, 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 Jesse. Jesse, Jesse. Oh, my God, I've officially lost control of this show. Moses, give me a second here. Okay. Jesse, up here. Are you listening at all? You're on a live podcast right now. I'm sorry, sorry, Tony. Okay, hold on a second. Let's start over, because I want to know all this crazy shit. Uh, 
First of all, you know that you can't sue us. You signed up for the show. And, I will uh, never sue you. Part of signing up right now, a little verbal disclaimer, you know what you signed up for. But in case but you But you sue your former home of California? Um, no, I'm actually suing the people who... The settlements that are being arranged for the fires... Who knows where the money is going? It's did not going to the fire victims. Hold on. Okay, this is the part where you stop talking. Did did someone did something that you own get burnt in any of these fires? No, it didn't. So why are you suing for the fires? Because I'm pissed off because I'm breathing in a freaking I'm living in a barbecue. I'm not supposed oh. to be living in a barbecue in freaking California. Holy shit, man. I want to like give you a quiz now and then I want to give you a quiz tomorrow after Brian and Jamar have fucked your brains out. Uh, <laughs> and I want to see if you're any smarter tomorrow or stupid. Well, don't you think that'd be a good experiment? Huh? Uh, Tony, she let me fuck. Let me fuck. I feel like she'd be smarter if she got gang banged by you guys. She just said that California, everybody's been getting raped in California. Just, I'm from California. I haven't raped anybody. I want that to be on I'm the from record. California and it was a train. Can I have a Jack and Coke? <laughs> Jesse, what did you do for a living your whole life? I'm a professional um, white girl. I call the manager professionally. Actually, um, I was a stockbroker for 10 years. And wow. uh, we're from Merrill Lynch and um, you I ever do for any Citigroup. You ever do any drugs? Uh, once for about three years. Oh, yeah. but just one time. Only one time. Yeah, that's... It was, it was it was right after I caused the great banking uh, crisis of 2008. So hold I on, have a hold on, hold on. You it. caused that? I was part of it. Yes, I was selling debentures for Citigroup, and I'm very terribly sorry to everybody. Wow, you're oh, nuts oh, oh. as fuck. Now I'm fuck. trying to penance, penance, penance. Wow, you're a special kind of crazy. I love this. I never thought when I when I when you came up here and I'm like, hey, it's Willie Nelson's grandmother. This is gonna be, this is gonna be so. Uh, comforting and instead you're, you're scaring the shit out of me what kind of car do you drive do you have a vehicle or do you have oh, a fucking shit. stagecoach what's Prius your i have story? a van too a white van prius yeah what does he do but i don't live in it <laughs> oh you have a white van i do have a white van i thought a you Dodge said you have Caravan. a white van <laughs> yeah it's really boring really really boring how long have you but had when this? i was a stockbroker i had a couple all right cars i can't and stand fancy. you anymore you just talk she just talks. I try to... Sometimes I can control the crazy. Some people... Like, how many antidepressants are you on right now? No, just weed. We do oh, weed, okay. and weed in California, the, yeah. The pattern yeah. I'm seeing is she just likes to fuck people's shit up. Yeah, it seems that way. Do you have a, do you have a sex life at all, Jesse? Are you on uh, Only it, Farmers or whatever? Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> You have a love life? Or you, you have a man, Jesse? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Really? How yeah. long have you been with this guy? Uh, this two, poor fuck? Actually, I just thought two years, seven months, and 27 days. Wow, you're nuts. <laughs> Holy shit. Like, if we sat around in a writer's room and tried to write someone crazy, we would not even know. It would not be believable if we wrote this for you. We'd be like, oh, this is way overboard. Yeah, you think it's overboard? Why don't you give her a little squirt water bottle to take up there with her? <sighs> ever, ever squirted during a fucking... Oh, uh, oh Jesus uh, Christ. It's empty, too. Oh, man. <laughs> That's her... Bitch, what is this? It's a douche. Whose tears are these? All right, Jesse. It was for the hair. It was the hair color. You have any stuff. special skills or talents or anything? I do. I actually do. Yeah. I um, I sing. Yeah. I what sing, do you? What I do sing you? A little country. Yeah. Do you know a song that you could tell them to play and I you could do, sing it? I do. How many of you want to hear the craziest can, can woman in the history of the show clap? sing a song right now? This is a show where anybody can sign up and anybody can get pulled out of a bucket. This is proof of that. Singing a song here. She goes by the name of okay. Jesse Burr. You ready? I must be my own worst enemy. Whoa. I make life hard for myself, so that's what they tell me. Oh, shit. Okay, you're getting better. Write my aftermath on that epitaph. Hell, yeah. God bless me. I'm doing the right things, yeah. There you go. Oh, boy, you got another. And you. 
Oh, I ruined that one, I guess. Jesse Burr. Wow. Thank you, Tony. Thank Hell you, yeah. Tony. Thank you. That is you. Thank are- you. This is hard, you guys. I'm a little bit, you know, <laughs> it's hard to be a first timer up here. I have Hell to say, yeah. I've already been date raped by two guys, and you know, double penetrated. Bitch, I ain't shit. Wait a second, that didn't happen. <laughs> Double penetrated by the table, man. I mean, that shit. never happened. Moses, come back. They put you through it up here. I have to I say. swear to God, I never easy. fucked this bitch. I you swear to God. <laughs> that didn't happen, Jesse. You are you not been... easy on first timers at all, I have to say. She lying. Bro, bitch. first of there's, all, there's it was regular camera. rape. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to go on record to say, that didn't happen. <laughs> like, what? I mean, you're cute and all. Don't get me wrong. What? So how did you go? Jesse, have How's you ever been? Full white Man, Jesse, I'm gonna tell Hansel and Gretel, parents. Yeah, I know exactly where the fuck that. Can you get this shit off the table? Yeah, take your, take your bottle back. Jesse, have you ever been with a black man before? Uh, no, I have not. Okay. I have right. not. Mm. Have you ever? Were you at the? Uh, were you at the? Uh, Capitol on January sixth. <laughs> All right, there she goes, Jesse. No, for I was everybody. Not. There she goes. Thank you, Jesse. I'm gonna get you out of here. Oh, standing ovation for Jesse Burr. Look at this, a big fan here, a huge fan of Jesse Burr. Hell yeah! Thank you, thank you. Absolutely, Tony. Yeah. What? Moses, tell me, what are you thinking? This, you changed. You've cha- the show has changed. It's wild now. I've never been falsely accused of rape on a podcast. <laughs> yeah, I have. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be really funny if when we play it back and you go in really slow motion, if there's just a moment where you guys are fucking her and we didn't even notice. <laughs> like some type of magic trick. All right, your next comedian goes by the name of Ben Horn, everybody. Ben Horn. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Chaos. Here comes Ben Horn, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. I, uh, I had to quit drinking. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I got blackout drunk and beat the shit out of my roommate. Yeah. So she moved. <laughs> well, that's what I tell people. CPS took her, but... It's my story to tell. She can't even talk yet. I know. I look like I would do bad things to women. I look like the kind of guy who would dye his mustache pink so we can tell women that their lift has arrived. (laughs) No, I, uh, I'm a big fan of women's rights, though. I think this new abortion law is bullshit. I think it's fucking ridiculous. Six weeks, six weeks is not enough time, all right? After six weeks, most women have no fucking idea that we even had sex. All right, Ben Horn. Welcome back to the show, Ben. You've been on here before? Yeah. Absolutely. What's going on, dude? How long have you been on stand-up? A little over two years. Okay. And you're from Texas? Yeah, yeah. I'm from Austin. And what do you do for work again? I work at H-E-B. That's right. An American hero, everybody. Holy shit. 100% the, one of the greatest parts of living in Texas, H-E-B. And what do you do at H-E-B? I'm a personal shopper. So when people do their online orders, I just go and get their shit for them. Wow. So you know where everything is at H-E-B. For the most part, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yeah. How long have you been doing that for? A uh, little over a year. Um, I, was living, it's, I, I was living in the suburbs during fucking COVID uh-huh. and then uh, moved down here, downtown, and started working at one down here. So much more exciting. It's people stealing shit all the time, homeless people doing crazy shit. I fucking love the H-E-B that I work at now. Every day is a fucking adventure. Right. Absolutely. And you're out there just shopping while they're sitting out there homeless and broke. Yeah. <laughs> just shopping over and over and over again. They're like, how, how does this guy do this? It's incredible. Uh, and your mustache, were you at Capitol Hill January 6th? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> he looks like Steve Ranazizi in witness protection. Yeah. <laughs> this is what Steve Ranazizi actually looked like on 9-11. Uh, <laughs> he was 
at a show enjoying himself. And, yeah. All right. I feel like his mustache wants to make me work for three fifths of what I'm really worth. <laughs> yeah. I'm really scared up here, man. Keep. It really is aggressive. How far are you going to go with this mustache? Do you ever trim it? Like, what is it? It seems like a... I just like cut a, the ends when it gets too long. That's it. For those of you listening to the podcast that don't watch on YouTube, I'll describe it. It looks like uh, if you uh, put two Christmas trees stump to stump with one another. Like, if, if two Christmas trees slept like Hans Kim and his girlfriend in a van. <laughs> like an Irish walrus or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's funny, actually, since doing this show a few times, like, especially probably because of the mustache, at work, people recognize me all the time and come yeah. up to me, and they're like, oh, I saw you on Kill Tony. Absolutely. It's weird. Half of them are like, hey, man, keep it up. And the other half think that, like, I made it because I made it on the show a couple times. Like, I'm just a fucking famous comedian. And right, who said like, that? I, you see that I'm actually at work now, right? <laughs> Your mom and dad, you've made it. You were on that kill, Tony. That kill, Anthony. Look at you. Oh, some people. Some I don't know what it is. Some people actually think that like that's 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 it. Like right. you made it. At that no, point. trust me. I know. I, yeah. I, 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 I imagine I live with this all the time. Uh, can, so, yeah, go ahead, Jamar. Can you apologize to my sister for slavery? <laughs> I'm gonna call her on Facetime. I ain't cutting this mustache till the South rise again. What are your parents like? Do your parents look like you? Like, does your, is your dad a hearty, hearty gentleman? Boy. No, not at all. No? no? Have they seen this look of yours? Yeah. How long yeah well, you my dad has. How I, long have you had that mustache? Um, since, what, lockdown, I guess? Okay. I, like, lost my job and just didn't shave at all. And then I started playing with my mustache out of boredom. And then one day I was like, let me just shave off. Hey, I'm sorry for slavery. slavery. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I did that. Is. That was my fault. I'm sorry. We got carried away. It is was she a really good there? idea in theory. It just, you know, hurt some people. Is that a different auntie? Hey, hey. Uh, it's my sister. Oh, hey. Okay. Hey, Jewel. Hey. Do you accept? Hey, Jewel. Do you accept the apology? <laughs> he's the he's the white man. So, he, I'm, I'm here on behalf of all white men. <laughs> all white man. Do you accept the apology? I think about it. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, we going, we going, we going, we going. <laughs> J- Jamar raped somebody. <laughs> nah, man, that was yesterday, man. Y'all tripping? <laughs> that wasn't today. Where's Yoni at? Uh, what the, what else is crazy about your life, Ben? You've been on, you haven't been on the show for months. Uh, what yeah, have we so not I, covered that we should? I moved downtown. I, I live in uh, not the best area, and the, I didn't realize that until I started going to the gas station across from my apartment every day. That uh-huh. place is a fucking madhouse. Uh-huh. Every day, if I go in there past ten o'clock, there's a dice game going on in the chips aisle. Uh-huh. Swear to fucking god, the guy the guy who runs it is like at night. He's probably like a 20 year old kid he's real young but every once in a while he just doesn't want to do his job so we'll i'll go in and grab like a couple of tall boys or a case of beer or something and he'll just be like you're good man and he'll just walk outside and it'll be, and it'll be like so what you just want me to take it and he's like yeah just fucking leave i don't give a shit so like two like two weeks ago i go in he's screaming at some middle-aged white dude who looks like he has no idea what's going on. And I don't know what started the argument, but he just keeps yelling, we carry guns, people keep getting clapped around here, over and over again. Can can you say that to my auntie? Hold on a second. (laughs) Hold on a second here. So the, the, something crazy about your entire life is that the gas station across from you is wacky? What, what, where exactly, what gas station are you talking about? It's uh, what, on the corner of, what, like, I live right off of uh, East Riverside. Yeah, 35 and East Riverside, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so I went in and I was like, so he's yelling at this guy. He lifts up his shirt, shows him his fucking uh, We see feet. this shit every day. I don't even know why you're telling us this story. That's just walking outside in Austin. All the characters, they, oh, a dice game. Wow, never seen such a thing. That's if they were organized enough to even have dice. Most of the homeless people we deal with don't even have dice, Ben Horn. You're living fancy life over there, Riverside, next to the river, soaking it in. These are the best homeless people in the city. Yeah, All do right. You, do you even know what H-E-B <laughs> stands for? It's uh, the guy's name. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> ben Horn, you've been on the show a bunch. Get out of here. There goes yeah, Ben Horn. Thanks. Ben, you ever get a joke book? Yeah, I got one. Okay. 
Oh, I should have given uh, I should have given Crazy McGee Jenkins a joke book. I forgot. I wanted to get her out of here so bad. <laughs> Make some noise for your next comedian, Sam Hunter, everybody. How many of you like it when comedians do good on this show? How many of you like it when comedians do bad on this show? You must be having a blast here today. Here he is, his Kill Tony debut. Make some noise for Sam Hunter, everybody. What up? I have a problem with running. Um, when I walk, my thighs rub together. It's called chub rub. Has anyone else experienced chub rub? It fucks up the skin on your thighs. It, like dries and irritates the skin. So what you need to do is you need to lotion <laughs> your thighs. And my problem is sometimes my penis will get stuck in between my thighs. And I'll just be walking around like Bluetooth masturbating for some time. <laughs> just walking around like singing to myself like... <laughs> Everyone's like, why is that huge guy singing? I'm like, <laughs> they have no idea. And my problem with running is when I run, I come. So I can't run. My football coach in high school was like, Sam, you're getting fat. You need to get in the goal line, start doing some suicides. I'm like, coach, I'm empty. <laughs> I got nothing left. All right, but Fuck yeah. Sam Hunter. Welcome to the show, Sam. This is Thank your you. first time. I'd remember you. I'd remember yes, if Ralphie May's nephew showed up uh, hey. on Kill Tony. I like your look, Sam. You look like the little boy from Up if the house couldn't leave the ground. <laughs> I think they need more balloons, you know? Can we get some more balloons? Uh, no, I love it. You're adorable. You look like you got locked in a walk-in cooler in the fifth grade and just got out right now. <laughs> Little baby boy. Uh, how long have you been doing stand-up, Sam? Uh, like pre-COVID, like three years. How long have you been doing sit-ups? <laughs> a couple hours. Believe it or not, eight and a half years. It's the first time I've ever made that joke in the show's history. Nice. You can go back, check all the episodes out on YouTube. Nice. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe and uh, rate and review. What am I supposed to say, Yoni? Smash Yoni's been like yelling button. at me for three months to, Smash to tell that like people button. to subscribe to the show. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to the show is what the kids are saying. Anyway, uh, Sam, what's up with your life? Tell us about you. You seem like the guy that's been... If, if I had to guess, if you showed us pictures and I was like, guess which one of these guys shops at HEB all day long? <laughs> You're the one I would have guessed on that, but that's, that was the last guy. Right. All right. What do you do, Sam? Uh, I just moved down here like a week and a half ago from Connecticut. Sweet. So, Hell yeah. yeah. Really? Uh, we have that is so brave. for. Uh, I mean, like, there's so much COVID out here. You just moved out here, and you know how much COVID's out here, and you look yeah. like this and are like this? Yes. You're doing it. Did you already yes. have it yet? You got the antibodies? Or are we need to call Jamar's family members? Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Get you the antibodies. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, you want to fuck an auntie of mine? <laughs> Joe's so, joke's so good it worked twice, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what do you keep in your front pocket there, Sam Hunter? I got to know. What is that? Uh, a, uh, is that your pacemaker? What is that no. sticking out of there? It's the exact opposite. It's cigarettes. <laughs> I love it. How long have you been smoking for? Uh, probably like six years. Okay. Yeah. I love it. What do you do for work? Oh, I'm unemployed. Okay. What did you do uh, in Connecticut? I, op I was like a you assistant manager at a car dealership. Wait, what? Assistant manager at a car dealership. Car dealership. You saw the cardio too? Yeah. <laughs> I <thought he> <laughs> I was like, you want cardio? You want? I know cardio. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, okay. <laughs> Did you sell people cars? No, I was like a uh, supervisor for like the mechanics and detailers and shit. Oh like yeah, that. look at you, just boss baby out there, fucking yeah. telling everybody what to do. Yeah. yeah. I love you it. Yep. You look like a bully on a PBS kids show. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Give me your lunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's amazing. That's exactly what he nice. looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, what do you do for fun? You seem like the kind of guy that fucking knows how to do something. Uh, I like watching like live music and uh, getting fucked up, pretty much. Okay, what do you? What do you? What does it take for a guy like you to get fucked up? What are you into? A you lot, see, really? Oh, yeah. You ever do whippets, but also 
do all the whipped cream too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this guy does it all. This guy does coke and cake. This fucking guy. <laughs> yeah. He's a cake addict. Uh, what type of fucked up are we talking about over here? Tell us about it. Um, like, what do you mean? <laughs> I like what, to get what, fucking if hammered, I, dude. I'm Irish. So you're, you like to get hammered. So what is that? Like, what, do you, what would you get if you were going to get hammered? You're, what does it take? Like a 12-pack or like a bottle of Jameson? Like, what are you into? What does like, a guy like you like to drink? I'll drink beer. I like whiskey. Wait, are you the one guy Tequila. at that one baseball game that was throwing up all over himself but, like, had his mouth, had his hand over his mouth the whole time? You ever see that video? I did, and that you, was not me. Okay, perfect. Uh, yeah. Clearly, nobody in the audience saw that video, but yeah. people on the internet will love that. I'll nice. take that moment of silence. and uh, The kid from Stand By Me, when he drank oh, yeah. all that. Lard ass? Yeah. <laughs> we start throwing up on fucking Jamar and everyone starts throwing up on each other in here. Yeah, I love it. So, Sam, uh, what, uh, other than getting fucked up, like, what are you into other than live music? I mean, there must be something. You have a hobby. Like, sometimes I golf. Sometimes Red Band does virtual reality. What's your thing like that? Uh, I like sports. Like, I like watching hockey. I was born outside of Toronto. Um, I don't like doing shit, man. I like doing stand-up and uh, getting fucked up watching music. Okay. That's it. Did you, have you been to oh, ACL? Hey, did you go to ACL this weekend? No, I'm broke. What's the go. last uh, good concert you went and saw? I saw Dinosaur Jr., this indie band in New Haven. Yeah, Dinosaur Jr., nice. Hell yeah, Dinosaur oh. Jr. is awesome. Wow, Dude. you seem more like a Carl's Jr. kind of guy. Uh. <laughs> Yo, so on the midway point to get here, uh, I stopped in Nashville. Right, I see the night in Nashville, and there was this band playing called the Lamont Lannister Band, and I drank with them after the show, and they all listened to Kill Tony. Wow. So I had to give them a shout out. What I up, love boys? that. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. Yeah, a lot of... Uh, yeah. You ever have any physical fights? Ooh, good yeah. question. Absolutely. Not that many, but like, like two, yeah. And did yeah. you win them? Um, oh, no. hell no. I think I one. saw one of the fights when you were in the sandlot as the catcher. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nice. Yeah, that, that's right. That would have worked there. You're killing me, squint. Small, <laughs> don't. Small, yeah. Smalls, yeah. Or is the goalie in the big green, for those of you that... Uh, Gold. That, that <laughs> uh, so, have you been in a fight? Yeah. Like, how, recently? No, not recently. Uh, just like college, I got in two fights. Yeah? How did those go down? How did those start? Was it you just fucked up, out there talking shit? No. Um, my friend knocked a guy out at a frat party. Uh-huh. And we weren't in the frat, so uh-huh. I had to, like, get him out of the building, and people uh-huh. were, like, attacking him, like, zombie land. Uh-huh. And then we came back with more guys, but there's, like, 60 dudes in a frat. Right. And I was the biggest one. Right. So when the fight started, this guy, like, hit my hat off, uh-huh. and I thought, that's who I'm fighting. Right. But a guy came, like, running from behind a tree to knock me over. Right. And then, like, 12 dudes just poured over this deck and just jumped me. Um, wow. I lost. Wow. Damn. I got beat up. My friend said I was <laughs> sitting crisscross applesauce getting treated. Well, you love applesauce, so at least you had that going <laughs> for applesauce. you. Uh, my goodness. How about your love life, Sam? What's that like? Do you have a, you have, you have a little plus size waiting for you at home? Uh, <laughs> no, do, you, do you like to get titty fucked? I mean, what's your thing? <laughs> have you, for, for me or the girl? Have you ever had sex with a 75-year-old lady with blonde pigtails and a cow hat? I have not. I have not, but I'm not against it either. Uh, that lady can fuck. There's a snake yeah. in my pussy. <laughs> I feel like she'll let you, and you won't have to rape her like me and Moses did. Hey, that allegedly, happen. allegedly. I never raped anybody. <laughs> Moses uh, R. Kelly, not guilty. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Sam, what's an, one more fun fact about your life that we need to know about before letting you go? You seem like there's a lot there. Um, I have a decent amount of rhythm. And I can shake my tits to music, and it's like, like right on, like right on beat. Wait, you can what? I can like. Whoa! I mean? Play some music. Oh shit! Oh. Hey, take the. Gra- <laughs> this is Kill Tony. All right, all right, all right. We get it, we get it. Jesus Christ. Wish I had singles. I thought there would be a part where you start squirting milk into the crowd or something like that, but... He, 
He looked like Hannah Gatsby cut a piece of herself off to go f- set it free to go tell jokes and shit. Nope. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Can I have another shot? Wow. Jamar likes to put his punchlines at the front of the joke and the setups afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like if Hannah Gatsby uh, ran an errand and then came back after e- eating too much food. Uh, <laughs> man, you fat. <laughs> now it's Sam, you have very, very talented titties. I wish I had some ones. What made you move to Austin, Texas this week, Sam? Do stand up. Right. Fucked up, watch music. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely. And you, and you come totally to the right place, Sam. Fun yeah. to have you on the show. Hey, you could maybe be a bouncer here at Vulcan if you need a job. Yeah. <laughs> or, or your tits can be bouncers That's here true. at Vulcan. Uh, true. Give them one of these. That's a real handmade leather joke book by the great Adrian Cavazos. That is Sam Hunter, everybody. Let's go back to this bucket. This shit's wild tonight. There's a, there's a special type of crazy in the air tonight. You guys feel it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Make some noise for... Oh, okay. Zachariah Tourette's Tippet. Tourette's Tippet. Tur- he's been on the show before. Yeah, I do believe so. Can't quite remember what Zachariah Tourette's Tippet looks like, which scares me. All right, I'm not seeing any movement. I'm just going to pull another name out here. We don't have time. Jordan McDonald, you're next on Kill Tony. Here we go, Jordan McDonald. Oh, okay. Jordan, you wait. You'll go next, Jordan. Tourette's Tippet made it. Yep, Jordan, you're next. You're next. Just relax over there. Here he is, Zachariah Tourette's Tippet, everybody. What up? So my name's Zachariah Tippett. Most people just call me Tourette's. And I have Tourette's Syndrome. So by a show of hands, everyone in here know what Tourette's Syndrome is? All right, lit. This is going to be fun. So here's a list of jobs that I tried to apply at that didn't really work out because of my Tourette's Syndrome. I'm trying to be a 911 operator. Didn't get that Walmart announcer job. Tried IHOP for about a week, but you know, flipping pancakes and Tourette's kind of looks like. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Guess you could say that job didn't pan out. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see, after that, um, oh, weird coincidence the other day. I had a wild Karen walk up to me the other day in Walmart. <laughs> fuck. She said, Sir, <laughs> fuck. are you all right? What's going on with you? <laughs> fuck. I said, yeah, second COVID shot, am I right? Oh. <laughs> Fuck, I missed the punchline. I lost faith in you halfway through that. Wow. Zachariah, welcome back to the show. I remember you. You've been on before. I love that I said there's a certain amount of crazy in the air before I brought you on stage. Uh, because then it would look like I was talking specifically about you. Uh, but no, I said that before you got up here. I like your style. Good to see you again. Appreciate that it. is your tick. That is, is that what that's called in Tourette's? It's one of them, yeah. Yeah. Last time we talked about the N-word the whole entire time when I had that tick. But right. Let's talk about it again now that my <laughs> friends are here. I mean, we could just rape him. That's true. I'm pretty sure he's down to fuck. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was that was a good one. Uh, that's what we call a good one, hot and fresh out the kitchen, right there. So Zachariah, remind us uh, how long you been doing stand up? What do you do for work? Uh, I do this full time now. Uh, last time I saw you, appreciate it. Thank you. I've been doing this. Uh, yesterday was my first year in comedy. So, wow. So you do stand up full time? That's what you're saying? Yeah. Yep. Did you like save a bunch of money from another job or something, or how are you how are you making money? Um, with my gift, uh, I get booked around a lot. I've been around McAllen area a lot. Uh, I was at that Ice Cube concert in South Padre Island. You performed at an Ice Cube concert? Yes, sir. Yep. Really? What the hell did you do at an Ice Cube concert? <laughs> I didn't fuck at people. That's- ah. No, it was like a it was like a comedy music festival. Like we knew the dude that was putting on the show, so it was like, hey, you want to do some time? And I was like, yeah, it's like say less. 
Gotcha. What's your living situation? Uh, I live in San Antonio. But By I yourself? Mean, no, I, li- I live with my girlfriend. Okay. How long have uh, you two been together? Uh, about four years now. Okay. Anything a little bit wacky about her? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it seems like you'd want, like, a, maybe she's an amputee or something like that. Like, oh, you guys. I love that noise, man. I don't know why. Most comedians love laughter. I like a good, oh. Is she uh, totally normal, all of her fingers and whatnot? Oh, yeah. Just only thing different, more depressed than me, otherwise, than a normal person. Huh? Can't. Jamar, go ahead. Yeah. Red band, stop that. Don't make a fart noise while he's up here. Yeah, the, no, make, or, hey, wh- wh- uh, the, why, band, why, does the, why does the person, the other person living inside of you have gas? Like, why, like, what is that? The other person living inside of you? Is that a, <laughs> what, what's that about? Like, why does it make a fart noise? Wait, what do you think? You think it's like malignant on Netflix? You think, you think he has like another, he has like a tumor living inside of him with its own brain? And it has. It's just like. Fuck all the time. <laughs> Jamar, you put the nig in malignant. How does it work? Is there a good way? Thank you, Moses. I wanted to make that joke, but I couldn't. Uh, uh, is, is there any way you could describe what having Tourette's is like so that normal people understand it? Like, Yeah, I'm confused. For sure. Uh, do y'all have that, you know, everyone sneezes and that uncontrollable, you can't stop it. Right. Stop it just happens. Just like that. Except Damn. mine's fucking like. Wow, that's wild. And we've talked about this before, but give us your. Because he told us before, I remember very clearly, that the ticks change yep. and they evolve. But it was, this is the same one that you had when you were on the show months ago, right? Yep, so mine is the second rarest form, I believe. I have physical and verbal uh, ticks, but my words change. Now, Normally, people see Tourette's syndrome as, you know, <laughs> fuck, like, I'm going to bomb, bomb, bomb. Like, that is, that is, but only 10% and less of people with Tourette's syndrome actually have it that advanced to swear. So mine's, like, kind of, like, normal, rare range, but mostly it's just, like, a, that's, like, common. Did you just flex on Tourette's? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got that top shelf shit, my nigga. Yeah. Okay, like, like, they ain't got what I got, okay. <laughs> like, he want, fly. like, he wanted us to be like, oh, you different. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> like, those other Tourette's oh, people, they ain't got shit. Fuck, bitch. Uh, uh, <laughs> By the way, do you work at Foot Locker? What is going on? Yeah. Why are you dressed like you're training Manny Pacquiao for a fight? <laughs> it's that St. Louis blood in me, so. All right. That's where you're from? Oh, uh, yeah. St. Louis. Okay. How big do, you, are your feet? do they know how Tourette's, like, how it happens? Like, did your mom snort Adderall the whole time when she, she was preggers? Yeah. or? Actually, yeah. we talked about that last time. I'm a foster kid, and I also wanted to say you compared me to the me. No, yeah, oh. Tony. Um, the Tiger Woods of foster children. I really appreciated that. I <laughs> did. What does that? What, 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 what? How did I mean? What did I? What the fuck would I say that for? I don't know, but I really appreciated it. <laughs> oh, well, all right. I must have been talking about his driving or something like that. Uh, <laughs> um. Wow. That's an every time I come up here, I'll get into that. I love it. Jamar's a foster kid, too, though. Would you adopt? You, y'all were like foster brothers. Would you, have, would you like to explain yourself wait, to hold my on, foster mom? Wait, wait, wait a second. Oh, you were adopted? Oh. Yeah, I thought you knew that, Tony. No. No, I totally always thought you had two parents that always cared for you. Uh, totally. Yeah, just like all the rest of you guys. Uh, that's how it always is with your people. Um... No, nah, Tony, I'm a crack baby. <laughs> Wait, tell me, how many foster, tell me how many foster homes. 17. Yeah, really? Yeah, Holy hell yeah. shit. Damn. Chris DeLeon loves his shit. 17. Oh. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. all right. Moses. Moses, you're not getting canceled tonight. Uh, yeah, it's not. You can't get canceled on this show. You have to do something. It has to look like it's spontaneous. Yeah, slap that t- guy with Tourette's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you really want to get canceled, you have to do Red Band's Secret Show every Thursday here at uh, Vulcan. And that's where it was. That's, that's where I was when that happened. Anyway. You guys can't fix to... Tourette's like it's impossible? No, no, no. The guy from Nexium did. So all you got to do is join a sex cult. No. No, no. Uh, Go ahead. And what? Jamar, do you actually think there's something he could do to get rid of this and he's just not choosing to do it? Absolutely. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> when did it, does it start when you're a baby? Like, was your first word cunt? Or like, how does that work? <laughs> Can you do a baby cunt? So, so mine, like, Tourette syndrome is hereditary, but on my father's side and my mom's side, I didn't really know. But uh, when I was seven years old, I got West Nile, like we talked about last time. Oh. And they think that was, like, a why it, a more it came in advance. Wow, seven years old. Did your parents cuss a lot when you were growing up? Did they swear a lot? Uh, my mom did. Um, right. Dad, I don't know yet. Wait, who is your oh, dad? Right. Lloyd Christmas from Dumb and Dumber? <laughs> you see, I don't, have you seen Waterboy? Yes. Okay, so I don't know my dad, but I'm expecting like when I get to that level, he's gonna pop in at the ending. All right. Well, Zachariah, I like your style, man. Here's a joke book. Have a big joke book. Zachariah Tourette's. Do you ever write it? Do you ever, when you're writing, do you ever accidentally like write fuck? I know Michael J. Fox handwriting. All right, all right. There you go, Zachariah Tourette's. Everybody. I don't know. He's got Tourette's. Meanwhile, he's the least crazy guy that's been on tonight's episode. What are you pointing at? You pulled out another name, remember? That's right. Thank you. It's right here. Ladies and gentlemen, your next comedian, because Tourette's took so long to get to the stage, I picked two names out of once, goes by the name of Jordan McDonald. (laughs) Jordan McDonald. Here he is. What's going on, everybody? How y'all feeling? This is a hot take, but I don't date white women. There's nothing against white women. I think white women are gorgeous. I just talk too much shit about everybody. And honestly, I can't be my white girlfriend and be like, babe, look at these Because b- imagine her reaction, right? What if she was like, yeah, babe, look at them. Like, fuck you mean look at them? What you mean look at them, Wendy? <laughs> I think Drake is an interesting rapper. To me, Drake is the McRib of hip-hop. The McRib comes out like two or three times a year. Drake drops music like two or three times a year. Every time the McRib comes out, we get all in like, oh, shit, motherfucking McRib is back, about to get one today. Every time that new Drake song drops, it's like, oh, shit, Drake just dropped, about to listen to shit all day, nigga, the fuck? But then like the third or fourth time you eat the McRib, you start to think, damn, I don't even think this shit a rib. And then, like, the fourth or fifth time listening to that Drake song, you're like, damn, this n- Jewish. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I relate to Drake, though. Not because I'm Jewish, not because I'm a rapper, but because our dads can say nigga, but our moms can't. There you go. Jordan McDonald, everybody. All right. Welcome to the show, Jordan. You've been on once before. Yes, sir. Right? So and uh, and uh, how's it going? What, what, how long ago was that? What did we learn this last was time like you were on this show? What a happened? A month ago, y'all learned that I, I danced. Y'all learned that I was born, uh, raised on a black Angus cattle ranch. Yo, the same week my car got broken into, my fucking joke book got stolen. So Really? Yeah. Your big Kill Tony joke book? My big Kill Tony joke book got stolen. Well, unfortunately, uh, we don't have any more left. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. I put it out there. It's interesting, your joke. You compare the McRib to listening to Drake albums. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think, uh, I think, yeah. All right. It's, a, it's for a specific crowd um, that both eats the McRib and listens to Drake albums. <laughs> Very specific. Didn't really clank that hard to these people. A lot of them drove from Pflugerville to be here tonight. Uh, <laughs> They make their own McRibs in Pflugerville. They don't buy it from a janky McDonald's. I think Drake is one of the most overrated musicians that I've ever... I know. It's true. I I, I had a feeling one of you was going to get mad at me for that. Uh, However, I love Kanye's new album, so I guess I have weird taste. Okay, you're with me on that. Am I right, Moses? You big Drake Uh, fan? I'm still stuck on on Austin's black people. (laughs) (laughs) That's Rudy Huxtable. (laughs) Good. Like Austin keeps it weird. Clearly, I mean, Jasmine. I thought it was Jasmine Guy. I swear to God, <laughs> it is a different world. Um, <laughs> no, but I've, I've met like three or four Austinites, and they all look like Prince. I mean, this is, but like Prince on meth. You know what I mean? That. Yeah. Jordan McDonald, you have a white mother, correct? Is that? Yeah, what you I got said? a white mother. Right. And uh, yeah. you, you still communicate with them, your parents? Uh, yeah, like we, we don't talk a lot, a lot, but I still communicate with them. Okay. Yeah. What does she do? She just gives you hand-me-downs from her yeah, uh, no. collection? 
Nah, she. My mom just kind of hangs out and shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't have a job. All right. And he looked like Bob Ross' illegitimate child. <laughs> I look like a lot of light skinned niggas. You do, like I a do. default light skinned nigga. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of my bits. That's oh my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. The last me. time he was on the show, I told him he looked like a uh, interracial uh, Rhea Perlman. <laughs> that was good. It's a deep cut. Thank you. That's Black enough. Angus Cattle Ranch. Yeah. It just sounds like a racial slur. Yeah, man, I grew up in a very racist town, Sherman, Texas. What's Texas? the most racist thing that anybody's ever said to you? The N word. <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. We tell you what somebody yeah, called me once. I got called it's that really three times when you're black. today. Uh, not that last. Yeah, he yeah. was like, no, no. He ran home. Was like, they called me nigga finally. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, I made it. He no. celebrated. Third grade was the first time. On, uh, uh, How many kid, times has me. someone called you a cracker ass cracker? Never. I've never gotten that. <laughs> I've never gotten that before. Well, it's a 50 50 chance. I it guess. is. Uh, it is. I don't know. It's a good chance. Flip a coin. What was the context in which you were called uh, the N word? Was it like at a gas station? No, nah, it was. As, I was third third grade at the lunchroom. Wow. No, the kid Damn. just said it to me. Well, wait a second. Did the guy have Tourette's? <laughs> no. <laughs> because if he did, that don't really no. count. You know no. what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Somebody walked up to him. and was like, "This nigga ain't Eric Andre." <laughs> he looks like Erica Andre. More. <laughs> A little bit more feminine. Uh, what other feminine qualities about you, Jordan, other than the way that you dress and your hair and your earrings Man, and your nose ring? And, uh, look, look, yo, I've pulled a shorty wearing capris before. I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm cool uh, with okay. it. Okay. I'm okay. comfortable with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm a pretty ass guy. He's got it. a black dick. All yeah, right. exactly. Exactly. I'm confident in my shit. Absolutely. God I understand. Right. What does a man like you wear underneath overalls like that? Is some, there anything some there? Some draws, bro. I just got some draws on. All some right. Draws, I feel like with your look, I feel like you could have like a leaf there or something <laughs> like that. Uh, I was just expecting something more exotic than draws. You know what I mean? I love it. Jordan, uh, so let's go through it real quick before I let you go. What would you say is the blackest thing about you? And then a follow-up question, what is the whitest thing about you? Go right ahead. All right, the blackest thing about me is I can dance better than all the white people in here. Is Got that mad rhythm, Better dog. than all the white people yeah. in here? Is there a white professional dancer? Is there, a white professional game? Is there someone dancer? that knows... Is there one white person here? We that can knows dance a battle right now. I don't give a fuck. I'm just kidding. You look like you've it's never. Him. It's him. It's him. The anybody? It's Does him. anybody know how to dance? Is there someone that knows it's a goofy him. dance? Come on up it's here, him. real Come quick. On, Come boy on, boy band. Get up here, boy yeah. band. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, boy band. Do it. Come Do on. it. Do Why? it. Do it. Does he know how Hi, to Megan. dance, or are your boys just throwing you under the bus? Oh shit! <laughs> All right, here he is. He's gonna dance a little bit. It's <laughs> holy shit! Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh fuck! Damn! Oh shit! Wow! I can't tell which one's whiter. Can I? Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> Go on. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. All right. Can somebody handcuff Jesse Bird to a radiator or something like that? There's no reason. <laughs> it's just the balls on this fucking lady. I'm about to sue her. Bro, she just bodied them, though. Jesse, go find a seat and fucking sit in it, you crazy bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, it's cool, guys. I got pulled out of a bucket earlier. I got this. Because you can trust my comedy instincts. I started tonight. <laughs> Crazy fucking witch. Uh, that was pretty hot dancing. Uh, who it, won, in your opinion? Uh, hold on a second. I got to talk to this fucking Macaulay Culkin stuntman <laughs> over here. God damn oh, it. Oh, my God. Uh, you mean Warriors head coach First, Steve Kerr? Yeah. <laughs> You know, that's not the first time I've gotten that either. Oh, so I thought I'll he was Guile it. from Street Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> or Michael Flatley, Lord of the Dance. Riverdance. All right, all right. Hold on a second over here. Hold on. Oh, so God. what's your He's name? Out. What's your name, buddy? Jared. 
Jared? Jared. Jared. All right, Jared. What do you? What do you do? What do you? What do you? What do you? What do you? Uh, what the fuck are you? A uh, twenty-one-year-old uh, kid from Chandler, Arizona. Wow. What are you doing here in Texas? Uh, right I now? got a job. What are you doing for work? Uh, tech sales. What a dork. How do you know these guys? How do you know these frat boys that you're with here tonight? Uh, well, I work with them, and y- that you described them perfectly. So, right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Oh no, don't shake your head. How yes. did they know that you could dance like that? Do you guys hang out a lot? Well, I I don't dance first of all, and two, yes, we do hang out a lot. Wow, you know what happened is the EDM guy earlier set the bar so low for dancing <laughs> that I saw you guys dance, and I'm like, wow, these guys can really dance. We're on the same swim team. We date rape the same girls. You know us. My goodness. What are your parents like? You close with your parents? You look like the only person on this stage all night that's had both of your parents in your life. (laughs) Thank you for the compliment. Yes, and they've been Moses got a gang of parents, actually. Yeah. But Moses is from San Diego. That doesn't count. Uh, (laughs) Go ahead. Uh, Yes, they are together, married for 21 years. Um, They're only... White as To fuck. be fair, they only got married because I was born out of wedlock, essentially. So, Oh, my yeah. God. You're so white. You make Jordan McDonald look like fucking Don King over there. Uh, <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> Reverend Jesse Jackson is the reference that I really wanted to use there. But okay, let's move forward. I'll, I'll take that as a compliment, though. So, What do you think is the... I'm going to ask you a reverse order of questions and ask him, what do you think is the whitest thing about you? If you no you if yes you Jared if you had to pick if you had to pick something about you in which it's like well I make my own pancakes every morning or like something wacky like that like what do you yeah, think is a white thing about I've never uh, I've never used a washcloth in my life uh, like um, what do you think the whitest stereotype white thing about you is um I wear New Balance shoes whoa okay uh, all right I guess that's it's pretty sort of, white. Okay, now, follow-up question. I'm real excited about this one. What do you think is the blackest thing about you? <laughs> I'm a professional. Show him your chest. Oh, shit. Only, only God can judge me? <laughs> What's on his chest? What are you talking about? The oh. blackest thing about me? Yeah. I like Drake. I don't know. Hey! <laughs> That's like a white thing, though, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. It really is. It's so funny. It's like a Nickelodeon guy. Doesn't even, doesn't even know what black shit is. I love that's yeah. how white you are. It would have been great if he was like, well, Tony, to be honest with you, I like stealing people's wallets. Uh... <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Mexicans steal wallets, too. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. I once had an Asian steal money from me. Uh, Hans it. Kim? Crypto. All right. Uh, Jared and Jordan and McDonald, thank you guys so much for coming up here tonight. We're going to keep it moving along. Hey, Jordan, here you go. Take one of those things. Brand new Kill Tony joke book for you since it's got stolen. I don't understand how something gets stolen out of a car in beautiful Austin, Texas. Should we get one more bucket pull up here, huh? I mean, you guys don't really seem into it. Should we keep going? Keep the energy up, you dorks. All right, Mo Laz, M-O-L-A-Z, your final comedian of the bucket of the night appears to be Mo Laz, L-A-Z. Is anybody coming? Somebody moving over there? No, okay. Wow, interesting. Trey Pack, everybody. Trey Pack will be your final bucket pull of the night. Oh, here he comes. All right, here we go. Out of the swarm of local comedians. (laughs) Trey Pack, everybody. My name is Trey. I think it's very cool that my mom decided to name me after my serving size. It's very cool. Thanks a lot, Mom. Trey is actually my middle name. My first name is Cafeteria. That's a uh, <laughs> it's a family name, believe it or not, guys. <laughs> I, I think it's catfishing for me to put my height in my Tinder profile. 
Yeah, because I'm tall, right? But I'm not your tall friend. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not the adjective you're using to describe me, right? It's handsome, I know. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to mislead anybody at all. I really don't. So I think anyone that's going to be on Tinder should be required to put their square footage in their bio, okay? That's just <laughs> only thing that seems fair to everybody. The fucked up thing is that if I do want to catfish you, it's going to be much easier than that, okay? This is America. I'm just going to give you my weight in kilograms and my dick size in centimeters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I bet you're a pussy that you can't do conversions at midnight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, that's it for me, guys. There you go. Trey Pack. I liked you when you went up earlier in the night. I'm glad that you're here again. Uh, very exciting. Do you know Sam Hunter? Do you guys know that you are each no. other's fucking long lost brothers? Uh, no. We've just been back there sharing body heat. It's been a nightmare. What's that? We've just been back there sharing body heat for like right. two hours. It's a yeah, nightmare. Absolutely. Sam Hunter, are you still here? Get back up here, Sam. I want to see something. Uh, oh, listen to the crowd wondering if the stage can handle such a... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah. Ooh, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Tony, there's like three of these niggas. Mo Mumford is the same thing, too. What? Mumford, too. The other kid. The other fellow. Yeah, no, he's not like this. Look at these two. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. I do believe we found the new fucking greatest comedy duo of all time. Uh... We need to get you two to work together somehow. Uh, D Madness is afraid the stage is going to collapse. <laughs> he can't even he see you guys. He just yeah. feels the he vibration. Feels he feels the, yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the scary part is I nobody knows. D, if anyone was going to know that the stage was going to collapse, it would be D Madness right. first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like the canary in the coal mine on this situation. <laughs> if anybody the feels the foundation wobbling, it's yeah. him. <laughs> he can't even see and he's like these guys are too fat I gotta get out of here that's awesome absolutely incredible look at you two standing <laughs> next to each other this is like a, oh. it's like looking at a double zero or something like that <laughs> or like a like some type of a, some type of a real life snowman or something uh, can you make your tits stance like he does I, no I can't I was very jealous actually <laughs> to be honest with you me, we have to fight it, in the parking lot. It is lot crazy. His tits were the only thing that could dance up here tonight. Uh, <laughs> do you have any special skills, Trey? You just stand uh, right next to him, Sam. You just I, keep enjoying. I don't, yourself. man. I just, I just do stand up. I. Uh, How about sit ups? Do you ever man. do sit ups before? It's the second never, time in eight and a half years. <laughs> Guys look like Nicki Minaj's cousin swollen nets. <laughs> it is incredible. Uh, so Sam, I, I, or no, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> No, Trey. Trey. Is that's that your me. real name? Trey Pack? Trey, that's my real name. Wow. Yeah. Damn. That's yeah. fucking unbelievable. So, so this is what Bane looked like with his helmet off? Who? Nobody. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Can I have another Jack and Coke? <laughs> what do you do for work, Trey? <laughs> uh, nothing. I just, uh, I just moved here. I was doing bar security. I was a bouncer at home. Damn. Uh, just doing okay. nothing right now. All right. Uh, and what are you going to do here? Uh, just stand up, man. That's, that's kind of the idea. Just do it as much as I can. How are you surviving? How do you people survive? Uh, and I'm not, I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about okay. COVID. Uh, <laughs> when Hulk Hogan body slams you at that one WrestleMania, <laughs> right, right. you think this what is what Andre feel? the Giant looks like? <laughs> like. Uh, how do you survive? <laughs> Uh, I just, like I said, I just put some money away. Um, I mean, I moved here from Knoxville, Tennessee just to do this. So. Wow. How so long ago did you move here? Three months ago. Three so. months ago. Yeah, what do you love about Austin so far? Uh, there's just food everywhere. Like, you yeah. can walk just down the street yep. and it's, and there's food. It's, yep. come on now. Yep. It's, just, it's, also, it's, I mean, you guys are here. It's the stand up capital of the world. It's the greatest city in the world. Yeah. And I, I love it. Here. It really is. Yeah. It really is. Uh, wow. Trey, what's your love life like? Uh, it's a nightmare. What do you mean? It's it's <laughs> terrible. Like I have to stretch to have sex with myself. Okay, like it's not, it's, it's it's not great. I'll be honest with you. My goodness, it's, it's, it's a problem. The last time you had sex with a girl, when was that? Uh, yesterday. Uh, was, really? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Where did you find this girl? It was and, actually uh, Sam. Believe it or not. Oh, it was okay. Great. Yeah, I love it. It was wonderful. Uh, no, it was, uh, it just, I, I don't know. We bumped into each other just out and about on 6th Street. 
Really? You yeah. <laughs> literally, that's how you find girls? You just bump in them like, oh, excuse me, or do I? She, she asked me to walk her to her car, and I was like, yeah, all right, like, that's fine. Like, I'm not going to run her down. She asked alley. you to walk her to her car? Yeah. That seems like the guy that you would want someone to walk you to your car with so that a guy like you doesn't end up... See, I'm not running nobody down in an alleyway, though. If she wants to get, get away, she true. can get away. That's like, a so good that's point. Absolutely. Fucking take notes, ladies. Easy fucking. to get away from. It's hard to hide behind bushes when you're that big. Right, it's yeah, yeah. hard to not make a noise if you're yeah, walking down fucking, their hallway. Yeah. God. I'm, not, I'm not coming out of the shadows on nobody. Was she a big girl also? or did she? Did no, just, she was average-sized, I guess. Average-sized? Yeah, the way I would put it. Oh, boy. It I don't shaky. have her dimensions or anything. Whatever uh, your average size right, is, yeah. I think, is different than a normal guy's average she size. Would wh- she would whip Tony's ass. I don't know if that means anything. <laughs> I, I believe that. that. I believe that. I wouldn't want to fight her. Did she, no. by any chance, have bl- long blonde pigtails <laughs> and a uh, cow hat on? Uh, that was actually my mother. I appreciate uh, yeah. the... Absolutely. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm Absolutely. Fine. The milketh runneth over. Um, <laughs> wow. So, Trey, what's your, yeah. like, guilty... Pl- what's, like, the craziest shit that you eat? Like, I uh, like to eat a lot. I have fast uh-huh. metabolism oh, because God loves me. Right. Uh, but, like... So, like, I eat, like, a fucking animal, man. I'll have, like, 30 soup dumplings out at a meal. Yeah. It's crazy. I eat a lot. And I don't have worms either because me and Joe Rogan do key bumps of ivermectin. So, uh... <laughs> Um, I know what you're thinking. Where does it go? I, it comes out of my butt. But no, it seems like you hold on to a lot of what you eat. What's a guilty pleasure for you? Uh, just, you know, like I'm going to walk to my car and there's going to be just a place that has food. And it's, you know, it's the, the most fucked. If I get too high, I will just go to McDonald's for the burgers and the fries. And then I'll pass the Taco Bell. Like, no oh, way. All right, yeah. Oh, really? yeah. And then we do. Yeah, we just start mixing and matching. Hell, yeah. You like I, to eat yeah. like Jesse Burr likes to say crazy shit. Right, just right, all right. the time. Any how, time. How do you deal with all the pressure? You're talking about blood pressure? I'm talking about his shoes. Yeah, like how? I'm talking to his shoes. How do you deal with well, all I have, this? I have blown out every pair of Vans. No, I'm talking to your shoes. How do you deal with all this <laughs> pressure? <laughs> you are brave. Them ain't vans, them is buses, nigga. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> soldiers. American heroes. Are your parents big? Uh, no. My, well, not really. My dad's very average size. My mom used to be yeah, a big yeah. girl. She's not very much one anymore. Okay. She's lost a ton of weight. Very proud of her. She's, uh, she's doing her thing. All right. How about you, Sam? Your parents eat a lot? My mom's dead. Uh, my dad's a big guy, though. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, like perfect that. answer. I don't know. I feel like I feel like it's every once in a while on this show pulling names out of a bucket. I feel like sometimes destiny puts something uh, right on our plates. Uh, sorry to make you guys hungry again, but, uh, <laughs> but I don't know. It's the very beginning of October. The guys this month aren't doing sober October. Uh, we once did a weight gain challenge on this show. Would you guys be interested in doing a weight loss challenge and you guys come back for the first show in November and check in and we see... Uh, and then, Yeah, but don't we have to weigh them first? I don't know. What do you think? Uh, wait, wait. Uh, let's, let's do... And the winner will get whatever your combined weights right now are. Uh, we'll raise money for it. What, what's, what's your weight? What's your weight? Are you serious? 450? All right, maybe like half of what you guys weigh. (laughs) Jesus Christ. I thought we were going to give him like 500 bucks. Jesus. Thousand bones for you? How about you? Where are you at over there? I'm like 330. Really? Hold on. Stand next to each other. (laughs) One of you's lying about something over here. (laughs) It's easy to catfish when you have barbecue sauce on your fingers. You know what I mean? You can't catfish Uncle Tony. You know what I'm saying? I'll call you out. We have a scale here. Let's get a fucking scale up here right now. Yeah. Hey, there's where's no... the Vulcan scale? <laughs> yeah. We have a scale I mean, with this EDM club. Look at <laughs> any drug dealers in. Look at <laughs> look at Tina those kind of look at those calves. Yeah. We can only measure them in grams. Yeah. <laughs> Four million grams. <laughs> Maybe come back next week and we'll weigh them. The official weight. Uh, I'm down, yeah. Really? Yeah, I mean, maybe that's the move. You come back. Uh, <laughs> I'm here every week. All right. Yeah. All right. We're well. going to have to get two scales, one for each foot. <laughs> oh my we are God. now going to add together the feet. 
<laughs> if they have their feet next week, who knows? Uh, this could be this could be gone at any given point. Yeah, you can't cheat. You yeah. want to you want to call my auntie and tell her sorry about her diabetes? <laughs> Why would she? And you get it? And you get it? <laughs> we both deserve it, but she got it. I'm sorry, pal. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> My goodness. Um, all right. Well, so much fun, Trey Pack. Yeah, uh, we'll see you. Uh, you you'll, you'll weigh in next week. I don't know if we can have sets, but uh, w- w- yeah, we'll figure out a good grand prize for these guys, right? Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Thanks, there guys. you go. Trey Pack and Jordan McDonald. We're going to see them next week. They're going to weigh in. Oh, this guy wants to join the competition. Look at this guy. He's oh, joining. Hell yeah. Shit. Hell yeah. According to one of them, you only weigh 200 pounds. 150. Maybe there we could go. get him a bunch of three chi edibles. You guys ready to turn this party up a fucking notch right now, huh? We have one final regular here to perform tonight. This guy is the longest serving regular in the history of Kill Tony. He's broken every record. He is a monster. He's been opening up all week on for sure shows with uh, me and Joe Rogan. He's an absolute killer. We love him. One of the best comedians in the fucking city with a brand new minute for you. This is the great William Montgomery, everybody. It's him, the big red machine, the vanilla gorilla, the Knoxville strangler. This is William Montgomery. I want part of the weight loss challenge. I uh, I got way too high up there earlier, so let's see how this goes. In case anybody was wondering, my grandfather emailed me last night and said they have excellent Wi-Fi in heaven. <laughs> blaming Facebook for getting Trump elected is like blaming heavy metal for, for school shootings, meaning I agree 100%. <laughs> this is a pretty good one. You know... You know, I always thought Barbie was from Arkansas. Why? Because she married Ken. <laughs> like Ken folk. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> the Austin Police Department will no longer respond to what they consider petty crimes such as vandalism, car wrecks, and burglary. That's good news for David Lucas as he can continue to steal jokes with impunity. <laughs> He's stealing fucking jokes! Yeah. No, I'm kidding. I don't think he is. I was just... I was joking. And David's not even fucking here to defend himself. I'm taking a shot at him right now. Well, oh, man. It doesn't and come I- out for two weeks, so maybe he won't find out about it until then. How about one more time for the great William Montgomery, everybody? That's a brand new minute. That's a brand new minute from the great William Montgomery out here doing the new jokes. Another brand new minute. That Barbie married Ken joke is a reach. And, uh, <laughs> wow. it was. And, and to think that beforehand, you literally go, this is a great joke coming up here. Uh, not I was you. thinking if I said that, maybe maybe people would laugh. I don't know. Again, I honestly, no, I was that, smoking. That, uh, William, that's literally the opposite of how comedy works. <laughs> uh, you saying this next one's going to be great, it, it raises the bar and expectations. And then you did a joke about Barbie <laughs> marrying Ken, but it's like about marrying Ken folk Ken. in Arkansas. Because she married Ken. Right, she married Ken. And, and Alabama would be even a better reference than Arkansas. Arkansas, uh, you know, that's where Bill Well, Clinton's I made a from. fucking mistake. Okay, that's, I know. I made a mistake tonight. Again, <laughs> I smoked way too much of a joint up there. I'm horribly on fucking edge. I'm not even kidding. I'm badly on edge. That fucking joke didn't work. Now you're critiquing it up here. I feel horrible. I made a fucking mistake. It's okay. William famously got sober a few months ago and is now addicted to raisin bread, everybody. Uh, how much raisin bread did you eat this week? I had three and a half loaves, and I, I've also started making uh, personal pizzas in the oven. Whoa, let's, let's talk more about these personal pizzas. I've been eating the shit out of these personal pizzas. Tell us, where do you, what brand, what, what type? Tell you us. have to buy dough from the store, then you spread it out. Uh, you learned this from TikTok, didn't you? 
What the fuck does that mean, red band? Uh, I don't know. Seriously, what the fuck does that mean? Red band's TikTok. Why would you say that? Showing him. That's like popular pizzas. in TikTok right now, making your own little pizzas. Uh, I don't think let's, you're right about that. Let's just stick on your. What do you? What do you? What are you actually eating? Are you? Are you making your own pizza? or Are you buying already made personal? I pan buy pizzas? the sauce. I buy the cheese. I buy the onions. I buy the mushrooms. How, how many onions do you? Put I buy in? the peppers. I buy the I'm, spinach. I'm, okay, William. I William. buy the shrimp. I s- buy the T-bone. Oh, a T-bone on a pizza. I buy the macaroni. Okay. I buy the apples. All right. Told you it was TikTok. Shut the fuck up. Why would you say that? That's so weird. That was starting to be kind of funny, and then you fucking say that. You're out you here threw me off. You're making supreme pizzas, William. Do you know that? I am. They are super supremes. All right. What else is going on in life? <laughs> oh, man. Just a bunch of uh, ghost shit at my apartment. There are ghosts everywhere. There's shadow now, people. There's It's almost Halloween. Now, just to let you guys know, what you're seeing right now, believe it or not, is not a joke. Uh, William is literally afraid of ghosts, and he's convinced that his apartment is... Here in Austin, Texas, is haunted. Tell us more about this. It has this, all please. kinds of shadow people in there. <laughs> I'll be laying on the couch, and I'll see, like, a shadow out of the corner of my eye, and I'm like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> That's a shadow person. <laughs> is that shadow? Just all the fucking time. I see him out of the corner of my eye. Did the shadow people look anything like my friends Jamar and Moses here? <laughs> uh, you speak up. Those yeah, goddamn yeah. shadow I people mean, moving yeah. into the neighborhood. <laughs> Believing in ghosts is the most vain and narcissistic shit ever. And I was like, he's making a racial slur. This is a whole joke to make this racial slur. Shadow people. I'm like, this is a good one, actually. I'm actually yeah. with it. Sounds like we're super. They actually weren't as black as them, but close. <laughs> See, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, I wasn't thinking anything racial about that. How the fuck did y'all get to that? Because you're saying you talk about your black. That was the last say. I was talking about fucking shadow people. Do you ever see anything other than <laughs> shadows? Is there anything Shit. wacky that happens? You once told me something about a shower curtain. Is that correct? Yeah, I see shadow people on the other side of the fucking shower curtains. Why do you keep looking at me when you say that? <laughs> I'm not David Lucas. I write my job. I can't fucking believe you started accusing that of ra- as a racist thing. That's <laughs> fucked up. I'm talking about shadow people. I'm not talking about black people. I wasn't even thinking that. Do you have schizophrenia in your family? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Dr. Redband doing a little research on here. <laughs> William. Uh, uh, Jamar Neighbors. Yeah, uh, hi. Uh, how old are you? I'm 34. Oh, all right. How come? Why do you ask? Huh? Well, William's a special tree. He's a 34-year-old that looks like he could be his own grandfather. It's very... Yeah. I was going to say, he looked like one of the four founding fathers of an Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> Is all of this because of the shadow people thing? I thought we were really talking about shadow people. Now I'm getting fucking roasted up here. I'm high as shit. William, I... Want... I already haven't felt good about it, and then this all starts fucking happening. Would William, like- I want to know more about these ghosts. In real life, can you give us an example of, like, other than just seeing shadows out of the corners of your eyes, was there a specific time that led you to believe? Because this is something he brings up, right? We'll be, like, in the green room, and, like, you'll be all in the phone, like, yeah, I saw more shadow people, then they'll, like, be it. Tell us more about this. These people deserve to know. You're the one that let the cat out of the bag. Anytime anybody brings up something that I leave off the show, like you being afraid of ghosts... Uh, I get excited, and you brought it up, so uh, now I want the people to find out. Just an example of something like a shadow person. I was in the fucking mall the other day in a footlocker, and Wait somebody a took a pair of shoes. And... Wait, what? <laughs> I, th- I thought this... then I was going to talk about a shadow person inferring that it was a black person. I thought that's where that was going. Stop looking at me when you say that. I thought that's what was going on. William, <laughs> I want to know more about ghosts. Like, you said something once happened in the shower. Was that right? Yeah, I was in the shower, and I saw a, literally a shadow out of the corner of my eye. And, uh, and then was, what do you do in that situation? Do you get out of the I, shower? Do you just keep staring at the empty doorway? Like, what goes no, on? No, I mean, I'll shut my eyes. 
I will shut my eyes. But so then that's black. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean that's black? I mean, that's uh, the same color as a shadow. Aren't ghosts like white? Well... <laughs> <laughs> all I see is shadow people. I don't know what. That's oh, you, all. oh, you don't see color when it comes to ghosts. <laughs> How defined? That's not what I said. How okay. defined are these shadows? Like, are, is it, it is like the shape of a human, or is it just like? Is it does it look like an upside down trash bag? Does like, it look like we, the shadow of your girlfriend walking by? What the fuck does that mean? Yeah. Uh, what the fuck does that mean? Let's let's go back to the question that I asked you right before Red Band. <laughs> Chimed in. Uh, I mean, I will be just laying on the couch and I will see a shadow out of the corner of my eye. You're not really saying anything other than a shadow out of the corner of your eye. I asked you, like, is it defined? I don't see like a person. Right. I don't see like a person. It's literally like a. Sounds racist. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, yeah, define these shadow people. It's like 6'1, he's got a hat with like a uh, uh, sunshine on it, you know? <laughs> oh, no. William, a week at the corner of my eye, you're looking like this side eye me shit. <laughs> <laughs> the Civil War reenactment thing. Why like didn't we even start talking about shadow people? I meant nothing by it. Oh no. Yeah, this could be big trouble if you ever get cast on SNL or something one day. Uh, they're gonna look back at this and be like, "What is that he's doing?" Someone's gonna be like, "It's comedy." You know. <laughs> okay, uh, William, really fun. I, you know what? When you s- earlier, when you're like, I think I got too high upstairs. I was like, oh, that's funny. He's like uh, being silly. I literally got way too fucking high up. Yeah, there. yeah. I think maybe, I think maybe you kind of maybe sort of did tonight. <laughs> I agree with you. Yeah, it turns you into a rapist. I mean, racist, racist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the rapist. I mean, we we've established that already. Sing ah. William, what do you think you look more like, a rapist or a racist? Because you do. You, you look like both. Um, again, it's another... It's very interesting. I don't the know. The difference man. between a C and a P. We're so close. Uh, he's a, rape, a racist rapist? Yeah. He's like, I only rape Probably Asians. a racist, I would guess. What? Pro- probably a racist. All right. I wonder what the I don't ladies, know. What would you say? I wonder what the ladies think. How about you? You think he looks more like a racist or a rapist? Okay, this lady says rapist. Cool. How about I'll the take that. <laughs> which which type of person would you let fuck? The rapist in him or the racist in him? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> uh, Jamar, that's a really... Uh, yeah, that's really, a, uh, <laughs> That's really just for your entertainment. Yeah, yeah, you, right wait, there, hey, hey, uh, I'm trying to get canceled, nigga. What the fuck? Sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, William, anything, com- anything else that uh, we should know about? Anything else crazy going on in the world? Uh, I want to let everyone know Amy O actually died this oh. past week. Oh, she wow. She is no longer with us. She was a wonderful woman. It, I'm so glad our paths crossed. Wow. She's right over there, actually. She's sitting right there. Oh, what? You should mention that. For those, of you that don't, for those of you that don't know, Miss Amy O was pulled out of the bucket a few weeks ago and until tonight was considered the craziest woman in the history of the show. It is for you know this is such a fucking mentally unstable episode of Kill Tony. I'm almost really tempted is. to bring Miss Amy O up here to do a minute of crazy to end it. <laughs> Should we do it? All right. You stay on stage up here, William. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a new minute from Miss Amy O, everybody, and then we're done. Oh fuck yeah. The clock has started, Miss Amy O. Y'all needed to learn something again, didn't y'all? I want me up here to teach you. Well, I'm going to teach you something here. I'm going to teach you something. I, when I was in prison, one day they called me up front to the picket and they said, hey, get on that bus because we found out you're going to be a good teacher because you got hemorrhoids. You got hemorrhoids and John Seely Hospital, they have a class. They need to learn how to remove hemorrhoids. So I got on the bus. I got on the bus, I brought my hemorrhoids with me. I got down there. You know where hemorrhoids are, don't you? You know? Well, they got me up in them stirrup, you know, and that whole class was back there studying, studying, and they learned how to take out my hemorrhoids. And you know what I found out? I found out it's possible that 
Norm MacDonald had the, <laughs> had the same doctor that was learning how to take out hemorrhoids because I just heard on, the, on an old letterman that was running since he died because the same age as me. Jesus. He had hemorrhoids <laughs> taken out. And I think I trained that doctor with my own hemorrhoids. What y'all all think? Right, all right, all right, all right. Miss Amy O, I don't know. What the fuck? I picked, I picked the wrong day to stop drinking, man. Yeah, like, I, I, know, it's I quit wild. drinking last week. Miss Amy O, up here. Oh, uh, you are... Amy, I love that. Oh, you two are still extra close here. I thought that was great. The Big Red Machine and the Medium Magenta I, Queen. I, I just wrote that the other day, by the way. Uh, yeah, we know, Miss Amy O, it sucked. Uh, ah! It did not. They laughed. Not really, but... Uh, <laughs> Miss well, Amy, if they Miss, laughed at me, they still laughed. Miss Amio, this has been such a crazy episode of Kill Tony. Did you see that lady earlier that was up here with the pigtails and the cow Actually, hat? I saw her across the street, and I knew the way she was dressed that she was heading this way. I did. Yeah, I was not surprised. What do you think people think when they see you crossing the street to uh, come here? When I'm with William, they don't mind at all. Well, I just want to let everybody know I thought that was great. Yeah. I thought it was a wonderful minute. You two look, look like you're going to shoot a porno called Breaking Bed. <laughs> <laughs> because you're fat and she looks methed up. Uh, that's why that one works for so, me. So you got hemorrhoids? I, they never came back and I never went back to prison either. <laughs> Uh-oh. What? That's me too, me too. crack again, so hey, three in a row. Wait, did you just say you smoked crack again? No, not since prison, no. Nope. Okay. Oh, all right. But you do other drugs, am I correct? Well, I quit drinking after episode uh, 524 when I fucked up my jokes all over the floor. Wait, you sobered up because of something that happened on Kill Tony? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Changing people's lives. My husband did not know I had been drinking. He just wait, yeah. wait, wait! Your husband did not know what uh -oh. that I had been drinking because I kind of picked it up with comedy again. Oh uh, shit! I was sober for uh, over seventeen years. Oh wow! Oh okay. So Kill Tony also made you break <laughs> no, seventeen no, no, years no, no, of no, sobriety. No, 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 no. Not before, this is what's before. wild. We can help you. We can hurt. You. We can push you and pull you back in again. That's well. You can you can take Amy. Fucking doesn't need any help. We are doing good. She <laughs> doesn't need any help. What do you guys do? You guys sleep together? We've been going to the zoo a bunch. <laughs> oh, wow. He really is in love with my puppet, if you want to know the truth. Is, did you bring your puppet with you? One, one of the worst puppeteers of all time, everybody. The only puppeteer I've ever seen whose lips move more when the puppet talks. Uh, really, I mean, it's just unbelievably terrible. Oh, my God, there's a gun in there. <laughs> <laughs> William, <laughs> William, share the microphone with her for a second here. Wait till you guys see how stupid this is. Oh, uh, what in the white face? All right, do your puppet. I'm offended. Oh, Worst no. puppeteer of all time, everyone. Go ahead. Let's see some bad puppetry. Hello, my name is Hope, and I don't do dope. <laughs> we don't understand anything you're saying. I know, I because know. Because <laughs> you're not it's good a at it. problem. You're Damn literally it. the worst, Amio. Yeah, I know it's I you. I have a whole bag of them out in my car that I made. <laughs> you have a bag of puppets? Yeah. You make those? I used to make them in prison, I told you. I, <laughs> 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 I did, I did. I, I would send them home to my children and... and, and, uh, and <laughs> And remind everybody and what I'd you write stories. Miss Amio, up here. Remind everybody what you went to prison for. Twenty dollars with a crack cocaine. The government sold me. Yep. <laughs> the can government. I? Can I? Can I call I got my mom? Twenty years. Yep. <laughs> That's Texas. <laughs> can I call my mom? And you tell her her to tell her your story. Please, I would love to talk to your mother. <laughs> nah, nah, she, she gonna get mad. She gonna get mad. She gonna get mad. Ah, uh, never mind. Never mind. Never. If, if the puppet talked to Jamar's mom, what would it say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a real puppet. That's me, everybody. I, that I don't me. know, but I, I mean, my son, my son told me not to bring this up here. But William, do you want to try? Hey, Would William, you, will you kiss you that you puppet? Can you can see you can do it. How many of you think William should kiss the puppet to end tonight's episode? Wow, this is 
is the first time a puppet's ever been kissed. God, and why did I get so high before this, and now I'm standing up here next to Amy with this fucking thing on my Turn hand? Turn the puppet to the crowd, William. <laughs> Let's see some puppetry. I mean, I got way too fucking high earlier. I'm not kidding. I love Amy. I'm so happy she's with me again. I thought she had died. <laughs> That's what she told me. She was about to die. All right. You're worse than her. I, I mean, maybe it's his mustache. I didn't see his mouth move at all. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was moving. That's wild. Absolutely wild. How about a hand for William Montgomery and Miss Samio, everybody? We did it. That's tonight's episode. Unbelievable. Chaos. Come on, make some noise for William Montgomery, everybody. Come on, make some noise for my friends Jamar Neighbors and Brian Moses, huh? Comedy store people. They're probably all moving here to Austin. It's just going to be a couple more months. And how about one more time? For the band, everybody. That's John Dees, D Madness, and Michael Gonzalez. That's another one. The great drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt is in, and it is unbelievably cool. Uh, can you make that bigger? There we go. Look at that. Absolutely unbelievable. Everything's available at RyanJEbelt.com. Uh, super cool. Oh, yeah. And uh, we have some local art by the great Chris Rogers here, a local artist. This is a William Montgomery It Hybrid. Paying homage to what's on the wall upstairs in the smoking section, which he also drew. He is the local artist, Chris Rogers Art, on social media. Be sure to check out Roast Battle on, uh, at Mint Comedy. That's every Tuesday. They're recording it at the Comedy Store, streaming it out of the Comedy Store. And follow Jamar Neighbors on everything, uh, uh, social media, and check out all of his amazing work, comedy albums, everything. And, uh, yeah, Austin, Texas, we love you. This was another fun one. We'll see you next week. We're going to do it again every Thanks, Monday here in Austin. Good night, everybody. Thank you.